Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I post a vegan fashion, lifestyle and beauty videos. Today is Saturday, it's a chill day for us. Kind of. Husband is doing some yard work but I'm really doing nothing so I thought of uh, filming, quickly filming this video and this is in response to a tag video which was started by my good friend Courtney from Fira and this is about cruelty free makeup journey kind of thing and I believe that doing this video too is sort of like a short introduction to my new subscribers by the way by the time this video is up I do have a giveaway running I will be uh, posting the link up or down and I hope you enter two winners for two vegan handbags okay I have the questions right in front of me and before it starts raining that's why I have a reinforcement of light here and natural light here I hope I don't confuse you because over here I look like I'm bronzed <laughs> over here oh yeah this this side natural lighting looks like I am bronzed and this one kind of like a little bit off but nonetheless you know this is how we roll what is that right oh no no no! it's not on my face but it's on the screen of the camera okay i have the questions on my ipad and let's see what was the first question first question is tell us about your cruelty free journey and where did you start okay um, I would have to say if we are to uh, count my being plant-based. Okay, let me just backtrack before we go to the cruelty-free beauty. So, for those of you who are new to my channel or for those of you who haven't read my blog post about it or watched a portion of my video uh, which is listed under the lifestyle, yeah, is it? Lifestyle playlist. I initially went plant-based like 11 years ago now back then i don't even know that there's a term such as plant-based i don't even consider myself a vegan back then as far as i know i was just eating more and more and more vegetables and fruits and if like i said i will be posting a link on my entire vegan journey but initially i went plant-based mainly because of health reasons i was a very sickly young lady back then I refuse to say I'm old now, but yeah, I was like 32, 33 when I first um, went plant-based. And then between 2013, 2014, that 2013, I went vegetarian and then vegan and then switched back and forth. And I'll be honest with you, it is really hard to transition, especially if you have a carnivore in your household. In that case, it was my husband. So there is really a struggle. That's why, you know, I mean, that's why I keep on saying becoming vegan is a journey, you know, despite all this information that we get from a lot of sources at the end of the day it really boils down to your own personal decision and then it dawned on me last year you know like why is my lifestyle not aligned despite my preference for vegan diet so that's when i realized that i really had to reevaluate my choices and that's why 2017 was realignment of my lifestyle so that i am consistent that i am vegan from the food i eat to the products i buy to the clothes to the shoes i wear and even the products that we use here at home and what really intensified that decision was finally i have a partner now my husband turned also vegan last year so it's no longer a struggle you know i am not only by myself now knowing that this love of my life <laughs> has already embraced the whole vegan lifestyle or in our case veganism it's a very liberating decision and it's a decision that i would forever cherish and enjoy and share to everyone such a long answer yeah <laughs> for a one question second question how do you feel about cruelty free brands with parent companies that test on animals i'm still conflicted on this to be honest with you you know half part of my heart is saying at least they're trying and the other part of my heart is saying that i am funding them but you know at the end of the day it's like giving everyone options 
just like when you go to Sephora you know you have certain options there Sephora is not a vegan is not a cruelty free retail mecca and yet you have really some brands there that you can support if that is something that is aligned with your overall lifestyle and thought process and you also have to understand from a business perspective that some of these independent companies choose to sell a portion of their business so that they can penetrate the market so that they can also introduce their philosophy through the parent company that has a bigger stake in the you know in, in the organization so that's how i view it at the end of the day for as long as i know that the products i use do not contain any animal ingredients or its derivatives or is not tested then it makes me feel better that i am supporting that particular product number three what is your main source for researching cruelty-free companies i just wrote a full uh, list of sources that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and a number one there happens to be my beauty blogger friends because we owe it to them because they make things very simplified and complicated and straightforward to us readers so Courtney from Fira also Jen from my beauty Bonnie Tashina from logical harmony I also listed cruelty free kitty and also ethical elephant so I will post a link regarding that blog post so you too can check about it and of course the leaping Bonnie list Pita Pita's list is not always updated that's why I would always refer you back to the cruelty free beauty bloggers that I mentioned. Number four, many people assume that being cruelty free is expensive and the products don't work. Prove them wrong. What is your favorite product that is inexpensive and cruelty free? Okay, first and foremost, why would there be an assumption that being cruelty free is expensive? It's the same thing too. People assume that when they happen to know that I'm vegan, that everything seems to be so expensive. Well, technically, if you live in Hawaii, it could be very, very expensive. But if you think about it, no, it's not. It's just a matter of doing your research. What is the favorite product that is inexpensive in my collection? Girl, Elf, Wet n Wild. Even before I went uh, completely cruelty free, when I started blogging, these are the products that I've been buying. They are relatively cheap but yet they have decent quality the uh, mascara that I am wearing on my bottom lashes is actually wet and wild or the lip liner that I'm wearing underneath is from Colourpop name your top cruelty free brands okay let's do five four three two one Kat Von D I love On Natural I love Fit Glow Beauty I love Drunk Elephant and number five would be Colourpop. Oh, in no random order. Number six, are you cruelty free in other aspects of your life? I do. I'm vegan from the food I eat to the clothes I wear to the shoes I wear to the bags that I use to the household products that we use here at home. So, yes, we are a vegan household, vegan and cruelty free household. Number seven, who are your favorite cruelty-free YouTubers? And do you watch YouTubers who are not cruelty-free? So Courtney from Fira, Tashina from Logical Harmony, also Jen from My Beauty Bonnie. She doesn't make a lot of videos, but she says she would. So Jen, can you make more videos? And then also I watch Rian from Wife Life. And then who else? Those are my top four. Uh, youtubers that I do watch every now and then every now and then just because I work right and if I do get a chance to watch them at home then I really do watch them and they also have blogs and you know sometimes we're old school yeah sometimes I prefer reading than watching but I enjoy watching too especially like when I'm doing my makeup and I just want to have some kind of entertainment on the side then yes I turn on YouTube and then uh, do you watch YouTubers who are not cruelty free? Yes, I still do. Sophie Shohep, UK blogger. Um, Anna from the Anna Edit. I know I watch I watch ladies that are younger than me, but I like their style though. Um, who else? 
I watch some fashion vloggers on YouTube. Sometimes Lydia, Tamara, just because I like their style. Hopefully, you know, one day they would also turn to vegan fashion because I think that uh, being that they are huge influencers that could really make a huge impact on the fashion and beauty community as well. So those are the people I love. For those that I have uh, failed to mention, <laughs> I'll be linking them in the description box. I'm sorry, it's now 2.30 in the afternoon. It's my nap time. It's Saturday, that's what I do. So there you go. I hope you learned a thing or two about me. I will see you next time. Mahalo.